What is up guys, Stellboy here, aka Blue Collar Sports TV. Hopefully you guys are doing well. If you're new here, smash that like, hit subscribe, all of that good stuff. So, middleweight contender Jaime Munguia knocks out Demetrius Ballard in the third round of their fight. Now going into this fight, I have to admit, I'd never seen anything from Demetrius Ballard. So in all honesty, I, I wasn't really expecting much from him. Um, but having said that, uh, the way in for this fight, Jaime Munguia did look pretty bad. He looked pretty drained. So I was intrigued to see how Munguia looked and whether the weight cut affected him. But quite frankly, it didn't. He looked strong. He looked powerful. And he got the job done. Uh, first round, I felt Ballard came out pretty well. Uh, Munguia was really having a look behind his high guard, you know, just applying steady pressure, not really throwing many punches, but walking down uh, Demetrius Ballard, whereas Ballard was quite active with his jab, uh, just a nice quick jab, a shoe shining jab, and a couple of nice straight right hands as well. Ballard was definitely the more active fighter in round one. Uh, Munguia landed a couple of good body jabs and a good straight right hand to the body, but Munguia definitely got outlanded in round one. What I was liking though from Munguia uh, were the level changes. He was moving his head, he was firing the jab from different angles, uh, from different positions, body and head etc. He was trying to keep his head moving, uh, he maintained a pretty good guard and he was paying attention to defense more, which is something that Munguia has been criticized for, uh, so that was good to see. Round two, uh, Ballard tried to do the same thing and box on the outside. He also tried to counter with his left hook when Munguia was throwing. But, you know, round two is really where you could see that Ballard just never had any firepower and, and he never had any pop on his punches to keep Munguia honest. Munguia got a lot closer in the second round. He had a couple of exchanges with Ballard, which Munguia got the better of. In fact, it looked like Ballard was slightly rocked in round two. Uh, I think it was a left hook maybe. Is, is it either a left hook or a straight right hand? Uh, but Ballard was still landing some shots here and there, some nice snappy counters, but... Munguia was just eating those up and applying pressure and landing the harder, more damaging punches. So round two I gave to Munguia and round three was where this fight ended. It, um, you know, it was similar to round two, whereas, as in, you know, Munguia was closing the distance, he was getting closer to Ballard and the mistake Ballard made, he was far too eager to try and fight with Munguia and beat him to the punch in the exchanges, but he he wound up getting himself in trouble. Uh, he exchanged left hooks with Munguia. Munguia's got there first, and it had a devastating impact. Ballard was hurt, he was on shaky legs. Uh, then uh, Munguia jumped all over him, landed a barrage of punches, and down went Demetrius Ballard. Ballard beat the count, but Munguia smelt blood, jumped on him again, uh, pushed Ballard back to the ropes, landed a series of punches, including another couple left hooks, and the referee jumped in at the perfect time to stop the fight. A perfect stoppage by the referee. Uh, Ballard's head was getting rocked around. You could tell that he wasn't really in it anymore. So a good stoppage by the referee. And a good performance by Jaime Munguia. Have to say, I, I was disappointed with this opponent leading up to this fight. Um, but Munguia, you know, he did his thing, he did what he needed to do. And I am appreciating the fact that he's trying to add more things to his game. His jab has certainly got better under Eric Morales. It's more varied, he'll double up the jab, tri uh, triple up the jab, he'll faint the jab. The jab is a lot more varied under Eric Morales. And yeah, Munguia still has a, he still has a lot of holes defensively, but you can tell they're trying to work on it with head movement, a tight guard, you know, throwing punches from the right distance, not jumping in as much. Munguia's a work in progress. He's definitely a work in progress. I think he's getting better. And I do believe, I, I, I do really believe he's, he's a big threat at middleweight. You know, based on his punch output, his strength, his power, and, and, and re resilience alone, I, I believe Munguia will be a tough fight for anybody. But I think now it's time to see Munguia step back up. Uh, the fight I would like to see would be Carlos Adames. I believe the WBC have ordered that fight as an eliminator. I think Carlos Adames 
would be a really good opponent for Jaime Munguia. Failing that, if Golovkin doesn't get the Canelo fight, I know he's fighting Murata next uh, Golovkin, but um, they're talking about Canelo Golovkin 3. If Golovkin doesn't get that fight and he beats Murata, I'd love to see Munguia versus Golovkin. That would be a war. So, Munguia, there's a lot of fights out there for Munguia in which I'd like to see him involved in. I'd like to see Munguia fight Andrade, Charlo, Eubank Jr., um, you know, all of these guys. He's a fun fighter. I think he's getting better. I like what Morales is doing with uh, Munguia. And yeah, he's must-watch TV. I keep on saying that when it comes to Munguia. I really like him. So we'll see where he goes next. And yeah, that, that was a, a good performance, in my opinion. Uh, looked pretty good, looked pretty strong, looked powerful. And he did it in front of his Mexican crowd. Uh, that fight was in Tijuana. And the atmosphere seemed pretty good, man. So it sounded pretty good. So, yeah, uh, big up to Munguia. Got the job done, but I think a step up is needed. Anyway, share your thoughts below. Been you guy, Del Boy. Peace.